Cassidy and I have been cruising together for about five days since we left Panama City after going through the canal. And we've been kind of harbor hopping, um, staying in different anchorages every night. Two marinas. What was your favorite stop so far, Cass? Flamenco Marina and Vista Mar Marina because I made friends in each of those marinas. Oh, cool. I love making friends. <laughs> yeah. After exiting the Panama Canal into the Pacific Ocean, we spent a couple of nights tied up at Flamenco Marina in Panama City. We spent our day provisioning and running other errands, including picking up a GPS antenna for our AIS transponder that Faruna Panama just happened to have in stock to replace ours that had failed. Without the antenna, we weren't broadcasting our position to other boats, so it was an important part to replace. My brother Damon and my dad Colin said goodbye and headed off to the airport and Cassidy and I spent the rest of the day getting the boat ready and spending time with new friends in the marina. We did our exit paperwork at the immigration office in Panama City and then started moving west and north towards Costa Rica. We had joined a loose cruising rally called the Panama Posse, which amongst other things, got us discounts in many of the marinas in Mexico and Central America, and was definitely worth the $75 cost of entry. We recommend joining if anybody is considering cruising in this area, and we'll link to the details in the notes for this episode. Vista Mar Marina, about 40 nautical miles from Panama City, was one of the Panama Posse marinas, and we decided to stay there for a night. The marina was relatively empty, populated mostly with cruising sailors who were waiting for wind so they could jump off and cross the Pacific. The crew for this leg of our journey was just Cassidy and me, so we couldn't do any overnight passages and we stopped and anchored every night on the way to Costa Rica. We didn't have enough time to stop for long and truly appreciate the beautiful areas that we passed through, but we have a logbook full of places to which we plan to return and spend way more time exploring. The day before we would cross into Costa Rica, we had a beautiful secluded anchorage all to ourselves and saw a bunch of fish on the sonar when we anchored. We decided to jump in and do some snorkeling and spearfishing, but we were disappointed by poor visibility and didn't see any fish. Back topsides, we were treated to a spectacular sunset, which was a really nice way to close our last day in Panama. Oh, it's so pretty! It's the most it's awesome! our last sunset in Panama. What do you think, guys? Is this a cool anchorage? Yeah, I love the sunset. I already got some photos. Tell me what you think about this anchorage. What do we do here? Well, I went in the water, and I, like, I only got like a couple of feet off the boat because I was so freaked out. I mean, I'm not used to swimming in salt water. and I have been cruising together for about five days since everybody left after going through the canal. It's Saturday morning and we left Panama City on Tuesday. And we've been stopping every night since it's just me running the boat. Cassidy's actually been taking some short watches during the day, which is pretty helpful, right? And she and I have been having a lot of fun. It's been nice, pretty relaxing. We've been going anywhere between 40 and 80 miles a day. 75 miles is fairly typical, 75 nautical miles. And today we're gonna to cross between Panama and Costa Rica. We are about six nautical miles away from the next waypoint, which is kind of the border between Costa Rica and Panama. 
um, which is this peninsula right here. Panama City is over here, and we stopped at a few places along the way. What was your favorite place that we stopped, Cass? Mr. Mar Marina. Yeah, well, was that your favorite? Because I made friends there. I oh, love cool. making friends. Yeah, there's a whole lot of cruising kids that we've met so far ever since we got to Panama. It's been pretty awesome. Panama border, what are we going to do? We're going to take the Panama flag down, the courtesy flag. We'll take the Panama courtesy flag down and then we will raise the yellow quarantine flag and the Costa Rican flag. And you're always kind of in charge of mm -hmm. dousing the flag, right? Putting the new one up? Yes, I am. We are going to go into Golfito tonight. We'll go through customs there. Today's Saturday. I imagine they're not open on Sunday, so we'll probably be stuck in Golfito till. Monday morning, we'll go through customs. And then Jen is going to meet us in Capos, which will be cool. We haven't seen Jen for a couple of weeks. She's flying down from San Diego. She's going to bring us some spare parts. gotten into customs yet we're gonna put this quarantine flag on and we'll take this down after we go through customs whenever that is maybe on Sunday Golfito, Costa Rica this morning. It is Sunday and Cassidy and I are getting ready to go out and do the run around, go to customs and check into the country. So we've got a whole bunch of documents here. We've printed out four copies each of our Jarpe, which is our exit paper from Panama, boat documentation. We've got a traveling letter that goes with our documentation since we um, have the boat's new and the documentation's not in our name yet. Insurance, copies of our passports, and then we just type up a crew list and we've got our passports. So we've got three stops we've got to make. I decided to put on a shirt with a collar even though I've been walking around with dirty t-shirts on for the past five weeks or so. Um, we've got a binder here that has all of our ship documents in it. So this is our documentation, other various stuff that goes with the So we'll bring all the original copies with us. Plus this with all four copies of all of our documentation on our crew list and then our two passports. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff, right, Cass? Yeah. And after we get done going to customs, there's tons of kid boats here, so Cass is pretty excited. And my favorite is yeah. I play with the kid kid
watching. Join us next time as we check into Costa Rica and explore Golfito. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.